Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you what is the difference between full load and incremental load. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what is the difference between full load and incremental load and then we will see when to use full load and when to use the incremental load. So in full load, first we truncate the destination table and then we load all data from the source file into the destination file. So let me show you how full load will look like. So this is the SSIS package, full load. So what we are doing here that, so the first task is the execute SQL task where first we are dropping the table and then we are just recreating it. So it's very much similar to truncating the table that we are just wiping out everything from the destination table and then we are just doing a full load from a source file into the destination table. So this is the full load and this is the easiest method to load a file. But suppose if the file is very huge, for example, there are 200 million or 100 million or you know, maybe 500 million records to load. So it's not possible to load that much amount of data in a very small time because sometimes we have very small duration. Maybe we can just update the data during night time and in the night time there are very limited hours and if the file is very huge, so it won't be possible to just reload everything okay so in those scenarios where the actual updated records are very less but the whole data is very huge we go with the incremental load or you can say differential load so in the incremental load or differential load what we do we actually figure out how many records are the one which can be updated to the destination table or how many records are the ones in the source csv file or in the source table those can be inserted to the destination table so we just update or insert only the differential data to the destination table so this is called the incremental load or differential load so in this particular SSIS package incremental load I'm just doing the incremental load so what I'm doing in the first task that I'm creating the destination table if the destination table does not exist and then I'm creating a staging table here ZZ emails updated okay and this is the log table which is only used for the logging purpose like how many records got updated or how many records got inserted okay these two tables are the major tables that this is the destination table and this is the updated table okay so this is the first task now this is the most important task data flow task so what we are doing we are just reading everything from the source file and then we are using a lookup component so lookup component is used to compare two data set so the first data set the source data set is the csv file and the another data set is the our destination table so we are actually comparing the source data set with our destination table and then we are figuring out how many records already exist in the destination table and how many records does not exist in the destination table so if a record already exists in the destination table then that particular record will be inserted to the updated table and if a record does not exist in the destination table it means that the record is new and that record will be inserted okay but before inserting everything into the updated table we are checking that if the data is actually changed only then we will update it otherwise we won't update it okay so for example if there are 100 records in a csv file and out of 100 records only five records got changed then we will only update the five records and if there is any new record then the new record will be inserted as it is so the updated records will be inserted to the updated table and the new records will be directly inserted to the new table emails table okay and then in the last step what we are doing for the updated records we are just simply updating the data based on a particular column id column and we are updating from the updated table to the main table and then in the last we are just inserting the logs to the audit log table so this is how we can implement the differential load or the incremental load so as you can see that it's very easy to write an SSIS package for the full load but it's slightly complex to write the SSIS package for the incremental load but if your data is huge then you should go with the incremental load and if your data is very small maybe 100 records or 1000 records then you can go with the full load okay so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.